These days, it seems like non-fungible tokens, NFTs, are everywhere. From art and music to tacos and toilet paper, these digital assets are selling like exotic Dutch tulips in the 17th century, and some of them are selling for millions of dollars. But do NFTs live up to the money and the hype? Some experts say they are like the dot-com craze or beanie babies, a bubble that is about to burst. Others think that NFTs are here to stay and will change the way people invest for good. In this video, we'll talk about what NFT means in the world of cryptocurrency. But before we start our video, make sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel. What's an NFT? An NFT is a digital asset that stands in for a real-world thing, like a piece of art, a song, an item in a video game, or a video. They are bought and sold online, often with cryptocurrency, and are usually coded with the same underlying software as many cryptos. NFTs have been around since 2014, but they are getting more attention now because they are becoming a popular way to buy and sell digital art. In 2021, the market for NFTs was worth a staggering $41 billion, which is close to the total value of the entire fine art market around the world. Most NFTs are also one of a kind or part of a very small run, and they have unique codes to identify them. This is very different from most digital creations, which almost always have an unlimited number of copies. Theoretically, if an asset is in demand and the supply is cut off, the value should go up. But, at least in the beginning, a lot of NFTs were digital creations that already existed somewhere else, like famous video clips from NBA games or securitized versions of digital art that was already on Instagram. Mike Winkleman, also known as Beeple, is a famous digital artist. He put together 5,000 daily drawings to make every days. The first 5,000 days, which may be the most famous NFT of 2021. Anyone can look at the images online for free, either one at a time or the whole collage. So why are people willing to spend millions of dollars on something they could easily screenshot or download? Not only that, but it has built-in authentication, which shows that it belongs to you. These digital bragging rights are almost worth more to collectors than the item itself. What's the difference between an NFT and a cryptocurrency? NFT stands for non-fungible token. It's usually made with the same kind of programming as Bitcoin or Ethereum, but that's about all they have in common. Both real money and cryptocurrencies are fungible, which means they can be traded or exchanged for each other. One dollar is always worth another dollar, and one Bitcoin is always worth the same as another Bitcoin. Crypto is a trusted way to make transactions on the blockchain because it can be changed. NFTs are different. Each NFT has a digital signature that makes it impossible for them to be traded for or equal to each other, hence, non-fungible. Even though they are both NFTs, one NBA Top Shot clip is not the same as every day's. How does an NFT work? A blockchain is a public ledger that keeps track of transactions and is where NFTs live. You probably know blockchain best as the process that makes it possible to use cryptocurrencies. In particular, NFTs are usually kept on the Ethereum blockchain, but they can also be kept on other blockchains. An NFT is made, or minted, from digital objects that represent both things that can be touched and things that can't be touched, such as Graffiti art GIFs videos From sports games collectibles Virtual avatars and skins for video games Designer sneakers Music Even tweets Jack Dorsey, one of the people who started Twitter, sold his first tweet as an NFT for more than $2.9 million. NFTs are a lot like physical collector's items, but they are digital. So the buyer doesn't get an oil painting to hang on the wall. Instead, they get a digital file. They also get the right to own the property alone. NFTs can only have one owner at a time, and because they use blockchain technology, it's easy to check who owns them and move tokens between owners. In an NFT's metadata, the person who made it can also store specific information. What are NFTs used for? Artists and content creators have a unique way to make money with blockchain technology and NFTs. For instance, artists no longer have to sell their work through galleries or auction houses. Instead, the artist can sell it directly to the consumer as an NFT, which also lets them keep more of the money they make. Artists can also set up royalties so that when their art is sold to a new owner, they get a share of the money. This is a nice feature, since artists usually don't get any more money after their art has been sold. NFTs can be used for more than just art to make money. To raise money for charity, companies like Charmin and Taco Bell have auctioned off NFT art with a theme. Charmin called its product NFTP, 
non-fungible toilet paper, and Taco Bell's NFT art sold out in minutes, with the highest bid being 1.5 wrapped ether, WETH, which at the time of writing was worth $3,723.83. In February, a gift from 2011 of Nyan Cat with the body of a Pop-Tart sold for almost $600,000. And as of late March, NBA Top Shot had made more than $500 million in sales. How to buy NFTs If you want to start your own NFT collection, you'll need to get a few important things. First, you'll need a digital wallet that lets you store both non-fiat currencies and cryptocurrencies. Depending on what currencies your NFT provider accepts, you may need to buy some cryptocurrency, such as Ether. You can now use a credit card on Coinbase, Kraken, eToro, PayPal, and even Robinhood to buy cryptocurrency. Then you can move it from the exchange to your preferred wallet. When you buy crypto, most exchanges will charge you at least a small fee. Once your wallet is set up and has money in it, you can shop at any number of NFT sites. The largest NFT markets right now are. To look through NFT collections, all you have to do is make an account. You can also sort the pieces by how many people have bought them to find new artists. Rarible Like OpenSea, Rarible is a democratic, open market where artists and creators can make and sell non-fungible tokens (NFTs). When the platform issues RARI tokens, the people who own them can have a say in things like fees and community rules. Foundation Here, artists can't post their work until they get upvotes or an invitation from other artists. Because the community is small and artists have to buy gas to make NFTs, it may have better art than other communities. Chris Torres, the person who made Nyan Cat, sold the NFT on the foundation platform. It could also lead to higher prices, which isn't always a bad thing for artists and collectors who want to make money, as long as the demand for NFTs stays the same or grows over time. Even though there are thousands of NFT creators and collectors on these and other platforms, you should do a lot of research before buying. Some artists have had their work sold without their permission by people pretending to be them. Also, some platforms have stricter verification processes for creators and NFT listings than others. NFT listings on OpenSea and Rarible, for example, do not need to be verified by the owner. Should you buy NFTs? Does the fact that you can buy NFTs mean that you should? NFTs are risky because we don't know what will happen to them in the future, and we don't have a lot of data on how well they work yet, she says. Since NFTs are so new, it might be worth investing small amounts to try them out for now. In other words, the decision to invest in NFTs is mostly a personal one. If you have extra money, you might want to think about it, especially if a piece is important to you. But remember that the value of an NFT is completely based on how much someone else is willing to pay for it. So, the price will be set by demand, not by fundamental, technical, or economic indicators, which usually affect stock prices and, at least in general, are the reason why investors want to buy stocks. All of this means that you may be able to sell an NFT for less than you bought it for. Or, if nobody wants it, you might not be able to sell it at all. Capital gains taxes also apply to NFTs, just like when you sell stocks for a profit. Since they are considered collectibles, however, they might not get the lower long-term capital gains tax rates that stocks do. Instead, they might be taxed at a higher rate for collectibles, though the IRS hasn't decided yet what NFTs are for tax purposes. Keep in mind that the cryptocurrencies you use to buy the NFT may also be taxed if they've gone up in value since you bought them. If you're thinking about adding NFTs to your portfolio, you may want to talk to a tax expert first. So, treat NFTs the same way you would any other investment. Do your research, know the risks, like the fact that you could lose all of your money, and if you still want to invest, do so with a healthy dose of caution. Thanks for watching. Also, don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel and press the bell icon as well.